Check Google Apps when you're running. Hi everybody, Dave Petromala, Chief Evangelist for Essen Technologies. And I'm here today to demo the latest Avaya Communicator for Web with IP Office and its native integration with Google Apps. I'm going to walk you through all the use cases of how we can drive immersive voice and video collaboration from Avaya natively in your Google for Work Office productivity suite, covering everything from email to document management to real-time meetings. So in this case, I've logged into my Google for Work domain, and I open it up through a browser. And within the browser, I've got two key components. I've got Avaya Communicator for Web, and I've got Scopia running within the browser. So all I need to do is authenticate those web services or those collaboration services running as a web service with my Google domain. So in the case of Scopia, I'm just going to uh, go Tools, my browser. And the beauty of this browser is I simply log in from any machine. So I could be on any machine, log into my browser, and it's going to pull up those extensions, the Avaya Communicator for Web and the Scopia and I can change how I authenticate them to. So in this case, I'm gonna to go to my Scopia. Right now it's authenticated to my Salesforce domain, so I'm gonna log out and I'm gonna connect and say, I wanna integrate this with my Google services. So it's gonna pull up all my Google accounts. It says, oh, you've got dvdps.com, you wanna give it access? Yes, so now I bound my Scopia video room and collaboration room services to my Google domain. So now it's going to be immersively part of my Google experience. And now I'm going to do the same thing for my Avaya Communicator for Web. I'm going to log out. And I'm going to authenticate using my Google credentials. So it's the same thing. It's going to say, this is your Google domain. Do you want to authenticate? Yes. You're going to give permission for these two to work together. And now I've bound my Avaya infrastructure to my Google domain. So I've got secure connection between the two. And instantly now, Google will become my interface to my Via collaboration tools. So I'm just going to log in. Now, by doing this, my Via communication client becomes a you know single source directory to everything. So when I search David, it's actually searching my Via directory and all my Google contacts at the same time. So I have one place to search for all my contact needs, my corporate directory, my Google directory, and my Google contacts. So you see David Brabowski, David Burns, these are my contacts, and then David Ballins is in my directory. And I can, from there, search any contact and initiate a live collaboration action, like a voice call or a video room or collaboration session. Okay. Now when I log into my Google, so I'm just going to go into Google for the first time, I'm going to reload because I just authenticated to them. So when I log into my Google domain, now it knows that Avaya and Avaya Collaboration Client and Scopia are part of that integration. Anything I open up within Google now has this rich contextual experience. So again, I can go to any email, hover on any contact, and then within the Google interface, you'll see now I have live actions to initiate a Scopia session with Dave or start a live Avaya Collaboration action which could be a voice call, a video call, a chat, whatever his availability is. And you'll notice, as part of the UI, we're actually driving something unique, presence. So the presence is being fed. The offline presence, if he, if he was there, it'd be green. That's being driven through the integration with Avaya. Avaya is providing the presence and the collaborations uh, integration within the UI. If I open up that email thread, you'll notice I can click from person to person, and I would get their live presence as well as within their actions. So I could start a Scopia with Andreas, or I could start a live voice and video interaction with Andreas. Again, I could now just call his extension. And that'll be driven right through the Avaya infrastructure. So I've integrated Google with Avaya. So any email thread could be escalated to a live collaboration action. If I wanted to schedule maybe a group meeting with Scopia, I could just say, okay, meeting. I can go right into Google Calendar. And then right from Google Calendar, right, Scopia is part of that experience. So it already picks up all the people that were in the email thread. And now I can simply click 
and now it'll instantly add all my Scopia room instructions to the meeting. Now they'll know that it's a Scopia session with a link to click and I could start the meeting right out of Google Calendar. If later I go back and change the date or time, I never have to worry. That automatically gets updated. So I've integrated the ability to add any type of via, a via video and collaboration session to any Google meeting from within Google Calendar. The other thing is document management. A big asset within Google is Google Drive, actually. This is one of the biggest, most powerful tools Google uses. So when I create a document in Google Drive, I may share this with several people. While I'm working on the document, I notice no one's online, but Avaya Communicator for Web basically loads a live collaboration session within the document. It's going to detect the people I shared this document with, and it's instantly going to give me the ability to start a group session. So it's showing me, hey Dave, you're working on this document, there's five co-authors. So I can see who's available, not available. Instantly I could start a, a live collaboration action with one of them or a few of them. If I want to talk to the group, I might click group actions and I might start a Google Hangout because Avaya is connected to my Google domain and gives me access to launch Hangouts. So if I do this, Avaya will launch a Hangout session right out of Avaya Communicator for Web. Right, so I could do this and it'll start an instant Hangout and invite all those users or if I wanted to and let's say the group is very big and I want to have a real collaboration session where I'm sharing desktop and sharing content I could instantly start a Scopia session with the group and I might decide well we don't need Jesse so I'll remove Jesse uh, Brian's on holidays I'll remove Brian and I'm gonna hit OK and now it'll instantly start a Scopia session so now I can go into a video room and start co-authoring and collaborating on this document with my fellow employees. So one click escalation from document management, email, and from scheduling integrated all into the Avaya collaboration infrastructure. So I'm just going to launch my Scopia session. And now I've moved into an Avaya video room right from that document. So what makes this amazing is how easy it is to start initiate live collaboration because it's part and parcel of the Google experience. Whether I'm working in documents or in an email thread, I can instantly start a live collaboration action. And the beauty is a Google user and I look at other content outside of Google, so I might just open up a random web page, I still have all the same power. Even though I authenticated to Google, it's going to allow me to still operate all my Google and Avaya tools in other applications. So the same thing, I open up a search page, I look up Avaya Canada, it's going to pick up phone numbers, so I can instantly start a live voice call off my Avaya soft client that's running in the browser. Okay, so again, live collaboration actions. I can instantly pick up my directory from any page. So again, if I go back here and I hit people, I can see my directory. I can search for someone. All right, I can see David Balance. I see David's in a meeting, David's Balance. He's offline, so I can't really chat with him, but I could call him if I wanted to right from here, or I could start a collaboration action. Again, I could either start a Scopia or a Hangout. So we make Scopia and Hangouts available in any application I open up in the browser. It's a rich contextual experience that's part of the Google interface, but it'll also allow me to start or initiate it from any application I'm using at that point. So a very robust user experience to collaboration that lives across any content that I open that is authenticated into my Google domain to provide me a rich contextual experience from anything I'm using within Google. And again, I showed you how we have the people widget. I can hover on any name in any email thread and have a via collaboration actions. When I get an email sent to me, any signature, it'll pick up live voice actions and allow me to start a live voice communication right from there or click the call back from any email thread or escalate to a live action from any email thread as well. If you like that, and you want to play with it or want more information, there's several things you can do. You can go to demo.avaya.com and that will actually give you the ability to demo and use the product with your customers. And that's available to partners and Avaya people. If you want more information, please visit us online at uh, midmarket.esna.com for more information. And if you want a demo, please, I encourage it, call us, contact us, and one of our regional managers or one of our sales associates will help you out to show you the product, walk you through even more detail than I walked you through today, and get a good sense of what this can do for your customers and for prospective uh, users. Mm -hmm.